Hello again. Uh, we're doing a seawater test today and a single cell has settled in at 0.77 DC volts, reading 1.0 AC volts. Having jumped in at over 7.5 milliamps, she's settling there, look at uh, 2.678 going up. She's risen to 2.75, still rising. Still rising. Uh, final milliamps reading here. Uh, which <laughs> must bring us to the conclusion that seawater is uh, the jobby. If you live on the coast, you're laughing. And now the 32 inch plates. Volts DC in 1.2 AC. So 32 square inches of copper and 18 of zinc in seawater gives us a really good punch of amps. This water's from the English Channel, collected a couple of days ago. And the amperage came in at over 7.00 milliamps, went down to 3, and as you can see, it's now nicely settled in and is rising and five minutes later. As you can see, it's still wanting to rise. Five minutes later, and the AC reading is 8.1 and rising. 15 minutes later, and DC volts came in at 4 and they've trickled up to 4.76. They've been stable that way for the last five minutes. Incidentally, I've allowed this seawater to uh, get up to room temperature. We do find that if your water's warm, you get a better reaction. Cold water, you get a slower reaction and a lower energy return. By special request of Michel, we're going to try a bigger. Now I tried this before with stainless steel instead of copper, and no good results. So I never bothered to post it. We'll give this a go and see what happens. This came in over seven, went down to about three five, and then worked its way up to six point five something, and now it's just ticking down slowly. And now she's jumped back up to there, so we're going to get this rocking to and fro. She's still ticking up, and I think we'll leave it at that. She's pretty stable around this point. So that's the midi amps. Volts DC, very disappointing, aren't they? I did try this test before, but never thought it worthy of posting, but there have been a few questions about the larger units, and uh, I think you're going to get your answer. Plenty of amps, but very little voltage. C reading. Now if you're lucky enough to have a river nearby and you've got large plates or units like this and you put them in the river safely so the water can flow over them I know for a fact that you'll get better returns as I've done under simple tap water flow. Final milliamps reading. About five square feet of copper and four of zinc. 